Hey guys, welcome to your second Python tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we will be doing variables, using variables. Um, variables are just like in a math project or something. Say x equals uh, 5, or 5 or something. Okay. But we just, this is what we just did. We assigned the variable x to f the number 5. So, but how do you see, but how do you print that out or something and stuff? See, we'd use the print command like we learned in the last tutorial, and we say x. Um, sorry about that, I had to move my mic around. So that's what a variable is. But some cool things you can do with variables are you can use strings as well. So let's say x equals, this would be a string. String. Then if you press enter, it, it will just assign x to the variable string. You can also just type x if you want to. You don't have to type uh, print x. Print x uh, removes these little single commas and stuff. There's not really much to learn about variables, just that uh, you can use them, set them to different things, and yeah. But some other stuff you can do with variables is you can add them together. Let's make x equals str, oh, str, and we will set y to i and g. Now if we print x and y is str i and g. But if we wanted to put them together, we do x plus y, and it would print out a string because that's str, and then add ing to the end, which would make string. You can also do this with numbers. So if you want to get the number ten, so x equal to one, and y equal to zero x is 1, y is 0. But then if you do x plus y, it will say 1. Now this is because it's um, numbers and you ha and it would just be like adding together. So what you had to do is you had to convert them to a string. You do this by str x I mean uh, x str equals str parenthesis x parenthesis. Then you can do y str equals str y in parentheses. Now what you do is you print x str plus y str. And that'll give you 10 because you convert it to a string and strings cannot be added like numbers. So, I'll be going over this sh string uh, uh, command uh, in a later tutorial. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much it. String. I'm going to cover strings in the next um, in the ne in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.